Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21 and thank heavens the, at this stage, almost a week-long trailer drought is over. Now I'm sure people will say, oh, there have been other trailers for games released uh, in the last seven or eight days, and that may well be true. Um, there's certainly been trailers for expansions for The Witcher 3 and so on, but to be perfectly blunt, I'm not particularly interested in doing those particularly because i haven't finished witcher 3 and it's just putting salt in the wound because i've got to get through that game and i've got to finish fallout 4 and it's all it's all horribly horribly messy but uh today i have discovered a trailer a reveal trailer for wonder boy the dragon's trap now for those who aren't familiar with wonder boy wonder boy was a series of as far as i'm aware three games that were released on the sega master system uh, the Sega Master System, Master System people listening slash watching uh, may not be familiar with it, but the Sega Master System was Sega's, uh, well as the name would imply, first games console. This is the machine that came out before the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Um, it was actually, or incidentally, it's most, it probably for some, for me, has more significance than a lot of people who'll be watching this video for no other reason than. The Master System was by far the most its most successful in Europe. It was something of a damp squib both in Japan and in the United States, but did have some success in Europe, particularly which is a bit odd because at the time, kind of the midish. Uh, midish 80s you know this was you know micro well not micro computer but you know small home computer era time or the small home computer era uh, in europe your omegas your zx spectrums your commodore 64s your ataris and so on uh, so this was uh, something of a an outlier before the 90s which is when console gaming really kind of kicked up or kicked off uh, in europe with the 16-bit systems like the mega drive and of course the uh, super nintendo or again as the mega drive would be known in america the sega genesis so uh without uh, further ado um let's have a look at this uh, trailer and then i'll let you know what i think it's very surprising we're getting this now very surprising indeed Well, uh, first thoughts off the uh, top of my head is, you know, bloody hell. I mean, it looks re it's kind of an animated style and appears to have like animated kind of animated film sequences or full motion video sequences. I assume to tell the story. It looks really, really good. I mean, it, visually, it looks really, really good. Like it's not this doesn't look like some, you know, a kind of a. A game some indie developers you know are putting together that's you know you know relatively low rent or or normal budget for an indie game that's a side-scrolling platformer this thing you know or say your spelunkies or things like that that aren't like aren't ugly looking but you know you, you know they didn't spend a huge amount of money on the art assets and, and the graphics but this thing bloody hell uh, I wonder if it's using the same kind of 2D graphics engine slash animation engine you see in the Rayman games. Maybe Ubisoft licensed it to them or something like that. Maybe they didn't, I don't know. But bloody hell, it looks, it looks very, very good. It looks really, really good. I mean, this is, again, this is another one of those kind of completely out of nowhere type scenarios. I mean, the Wonder Boy games, I think there were three of them, were all on the Sega Master System. I don't think Sega, or well, maybe it was a third, I don't remember, yeah, I don't, Sega's not publishing this, so I assume this was a third party game. I don't believe any Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy games were released on the, the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. So, this is completely out of nowhere. 
I mean, I don't, I don't remember any of the, uh, any kind of the franchises that were associated with the Master System uh, uh, being either, this is either, I don't know if it's a sequel or if it's a remake, because it's possible the name, you know, Wonder Boy, Dragon's Trap, that might have been the kind of the name for Wonder Boy 3 or 2 or 1 for all I know. So it may just be a remake, but boy oh boy, it's not a port, it's definitely not a HD port either, it is an absolutely... Uh, a full remake and it, certainly from that short trailer there it looks very 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 good and i'll have to pay attention to this and again this is this is this is a very good reveal trailer because it's something you know it's something surprising it's something completely unexpected that's come completely out of nowhere and it looks very good and it's certainly got my attention and i'll remember this i'll remember this trailer and i'll remember this game and i'll take note when i see reported that it's been uh, released so uh Oh, what more can I say? Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Let me know what you think about this trailer uh, in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Wonder Boy series and any fond memories you had playing it on the Sega Master System back in the day for those of you who did. And uh, please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. This is uh, Defub21, uh, both surprised and impressed, uh, signing off. Toodaloo!